and welcome to Bay of Funny Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath, intuitive card reader, and a visionary as well. I'm here today to do the monthly general reading for July 2017, the sign of Pisces. So I'm just getting your smudge up here, guys. TT, come on. I put a block up and she got around it. It's my little dog. Come on, TT. Good girl. Good girl. Right. Whoops. I have to throw, be a flamethrower here. Okay. Cards. Oh, that's what you call a smudge, baby. Look at that. There we go, Pisces. That's a great smudge. All right. Let's get right into the dealing. Also, I'm burning uh, my candle um, today from intuitivecandles.com right behind me here. And it is 100% soy-based candles that are not harmful to your health because they're made of soy. And when the candles melt down, they smell beautiful. When the candles melt down, you're left with a beautiful reveal. And this candle here, I'm going to have to get up and shut my door. Oops. Is Enchanted Woods and it smells beautiful. And I've already got my reveal from it. And it is a tree of life. Sterling silver, beautiful stones that are all wired into place. They're not glued or anything like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Also, I did a tester candle, um, frankincense, which turns out to be my favorite. So I hope they roll that out on a regular basis. And this is what I received from it, the chakra, the heart, the chakra. It's beautiful. My very first one. Okay. So this is for my friends, Pisces. This general weekly reading, monthly reading. Do too many weeklies. This is for the month of July, 2017. This is a general reading, which may or may not resonate with all of you. Pisces. There we go. These are your cards. Put my drink over there. Your very, very first card. It's your overall energy for the month of July. Pisces. Queen of the Ocean. And she represents abundance. Card number two. Ooh, the vortex and temptation. Your finances in love. What's up with that? Card number three. Your heart, your home, your love, anything to do with your home and your heart. King of Cups, understanding. Your challenges. Two of Cups, partnership. And your message from Spirit. Ooh, Ten of Swords. All about endings. Okay, so when I've exhausted the messages from those five cards, I'll pull one significator from Tarot at the end of the reading. Your very first card, your overall energy queen of the ocean. She's all about abundance. This is the mother card of Tarot. Um, she brings happiness and she brings abundance. And she predicts contentment, um, a loving partner as well. Um, she... Brings joy to the family and basically an overall feeling of comfort. Your needs will be met at this time and money is going to flow again. If there's been any slowdown, it's going to pick up and flow again. All feuds are going to be forgotten about as well at this time. You'll be putting a lot of things to rest that aren't worth your time or energy at all anymore. Harmony is going to rule at home. It will rule at home. This is also a spiritual growth period as well. Your, and your emotional stability will become more stable, more secure. Also, um, this card favors fertility within the family for some children um, as well are highlighted here. As a person, she's a female partner, the perfect female partner, and she's also a mother figure. The advice of this card is now is the time to grow and evolve and enjoy and invest time into your relationships and your home. 
and your spiritual practices as well. Don't forget to get in touch. Keywords are growth and nurturing, home, love, fertility, comfort, and generosity. Now, what this is doing in your financial sector is beyond me, the vortex. A common meaning of this card overall is affairs. Affairs of the heart, affairs of the marriages, this kind of a thing. Um, some of you may be feeling trapped within a relationship. Um, trapped by financial co uh, contracts as well, and agreements. Some of you trapped by your job. You just feel like there's no way out. Um, you're feeling like you have little power at this time when it comes to your money flow. If you could change things, you would change things. You're feeling like somebody or something has full control over you in your life. And I'm hearing they may not even realize it, but they do. You're the only one privy to that fact. Some of you may be attracted to something or someone that's no good for you. Whatever it is, it's no good for you. It is not for you. Oh, Lord. Another meaning of this card is addictions. Addictions to the substances. For some, it's addiction to love. For some, it's addiction to, to another person which I think is the worst of all. Here's the thing, all that's just illusion. It's not even real. You got to give yourself a double take there and a double check and see what's real and what isn't. And a lot of this stuff isn't real. These are things that are just floating around in your mind. Um, you can break free anytime you like. And it's in, indicative in this card. You can see they're caught up in, the, in these whirlpools or vortexes, whatever you'd like to call them. But if you look right here, this calm, clear water. They don't have very far to go to break free. A lot easier than what they ever think it's going to be. And this applies to you as well, Pisces. Don't let anybody dictate to you who you are. Take your power back at this time. Take a stand and take your power back. You may be dealing with somebody in your life as well that's suffering from addictions or has lost their way or is feeling all these emotions as well as somebody close to you may be feeling this way, feeling trapped, no control, um, maybe attraction to something or someone that's not good for them. This could be somebody very, very close to you. Your keywords are choices and contrasts, control, power, affairs, restrictions, and addictions. But take your power back, all right? You get in control of your financial world, all right? You need to do that. Your hearth in your home, King of Cups, is all about understanding. And this is a beautiful, beautiful energy to have. Um, th this, th this is sometimes considered the U card. So Pisces, you may recognize yourself within this card. This king has a lot of integrity. Like it is a most top, top of the world integrity. Nobody surpasses him. He has strong honor that, that, that runs through his veins as well. He's extremely sensitive to other people. He's very devoted to his family, his friends, his career. This is a straight shooting arrow. This person is the epitome of what humans should look at as an example to follow. He sets an example for everybody. He's loyal for life. So if you recognize this as yourself, that's fine. You may recognize this as somebody else that's in your life. This guy feels everything and sometimes becomes a little bit distant when... He's trying to figure things out and he's left feeling a little confused by something he's experienced or seen. Something along those lines that's disturbed you will become a little bit, but it doesn't show. So when you ask him, how are you? And he just says, fine, real quick. I say, no, you're not. Really, how are you? I do want to hear how you really are, is what you'll need to put out to them. But as the U card, um, the king indicates that you should have balance and empathy between, okay, the to find a, a sweet balance between empathy and with your fairness for others as well to yourself. Don't leave yourself short when you're giving out to others or you got nothing left to give to anybody else. You got to take care of you too. There's a perfect balance in there. It's there. Also, um, with this card, he also makes the ideal partner. So if this is a man that you recognize in your life, and that's wonderful too. The advice is, to follow your emotions, but don't feel you have to explain your feelings to anybody and trust that you are right. 
the, your words are your keywords are fairness and empathy, sensitivity, loyalty, maturity, commitment, and honor. These are all good things that are happening within your immediate life, within your immediate circle, because these are cups, and this falls into your hearts and your home and anything to do with love. These are all good things. Okay, number four, your uh, challenges for the month is two of cups, and it's all about partnerships. And I'm hearing right off the challenge here for you is going to be an issue of trust um, and putting forth trust. Because this card is, uh, moreover, the most common meaning is romantic relationships that are in for the long haul. Love to last a lifetime. Marriages to last, last a lifetime. Um, just communion of two people. Um, and in the romantic sense, yes. On the other side of that, it's not all about that. This can apply to people that have met somebody else or they've connected or wanted to work with somebody else for the greater good. And you've met somebody that's very like-minded and how, and you keep, you keep saying, how lucky was I to get this person? How lucky was I? They're in for the long term. They're as devoted as you are. They're as creative as you are. They're as inspired as you are. You look at each other and you already know what the other's thinking. They're like your twin flame or mirror spirit, but not in a romantic sense, but very much every other way. It's from one human being to another. You're going to nurture each other's interests. You're going to broaden each other's horizon. It's going to be a wonderful ride for those of you that meet this other person, this other half of you, you might say. Um, some of you are looking for real inspiration right now. You're going to find it as well. You just need to open yourself up and be trusting. Trust this, this situation. You know, sometimes we say, this is just too good to be true. This can't be real. But you know what? Every now and again, it is. It is real. And it is true. And you need to trust it. All right. There's your challenge for the month of July. Look for others to share your visions with as the advice of the card and work with others for the greatest results. And your keywords are partnership, creativity, communication, travel, planning, education, and a really juicy word, inspiration, because it's so healthy to be inspired in so many different ways and so many different levels. So your last card, your message from spirit is a ten of swords. It's all about endings. And this is the final card, the summing up. Or the ending, the totaling. Um, it's showing some things are going to come to a close. They've run their course. And that goes for relationships as well. There may be a little bit of drama involved for some of you. Ending a relationship, walking away from a job or career, leaving a home. All kinds of different categories this can fall under. There will be some drama. There will be some shock. But behind the shock is a sense of relief of... I knew this was going to happen. The chances were good that it would. I hope that it wouldn't. But now that it has, it came quick. It, it caught me off guard. Uh, you're going to feel rocked with shock. But right on top of that is this realization of relief. Okay. I can deal with this. I've been through this before. I've been through worse before. I can start over. At least there's the relief of knowing that all the problems that have gone on, I won't have to deal with these things anymore at all, ever, now that it's over. This is a relief because I wasn't really happy there anyway. So that's for some of you anyways. Remember, this is general reading. But there are situations and, and relationships that just you're looking at them for what they are now. Um, and, and you're seeing there's no growth. There's no way it's going to grow into anything more than what it is right now. What it is right now just isn't sufficient. It isn't up to snuff. It's not what you want. You want more. So what, as however unwanted as this card can be, and we cringe when we see it come up, because I always do, what it does, it brings the truth of a matter right to the forefront. So you can't ignore the truth anymore. Um, and now you're going to know even more, as much as shocking that is a slap in the face and all that, you're going to know what you need to let go to release, to move forward. The advice of this card is to walk away and let go. Focus on your present and start letting go of the past. Don't live in the flippin' past like some people do. 
If you were miserable there, why are you still going back there in your head and in your emotions and in your psyche and in your energy, throwing it all into the past? If it was so miserable, why are you still there? Get out of there. Do flipping cartwheels to be so excited that you're not back there anymore. You're here now and you're going there. All right. Be happy. Cartwheels. That you missed a bullet. That you're still alive to talk about it. And this is the kind of thing. So the uh, your keywords are completion, release, drama, transformation, truth, victimhood, and shock. And it will all be good. Let's go right into your significator. And we'll pull one card to see what the overall energy is for this five card spread. All right. Oh, I missed one moment. I missed it. There we go. All right. I just have to cut. Interesting. Page of Cups. You come up reversed. Let me check on him. All right. <clears throat> All right. So when the Page of Cups comes up, this card stands for romance, deep feelings, and the inner life. In readings, the Page of Cups suggest that an opening may appear that stirs your emotions or pulls at your heartstrings or brings you great joy. So when you see such a chance, you'd be sure and act on it. The page is rooted in a world of inner images, fantasies, and creative ideas. And having said that, you've got to remember to keep your feet on the ground. No matter how much your tendency is and your urges that you want to float off into a fantasy because it's just too beautiful. Um, so don't be doing that. Stay grounded and stay real. But take advantage of any beauty that comes your way. Absolutely. So anyways, Pisces, that was your reading for the month of July. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you took something from it. I hope it resonated and all that good stuff. Um, for everybody else, thank you very much for being here and subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, also, uh, I'd like to say thank you to the group in Facebook as well under Bay of Fundy Fortunes. It's a closed group. Um, everybody's welcome to, jo to join us and be there. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. You can sit back and watch and be enlightened that way, quiet or not. Also, at this time, um, uh, you can find us there. You can find us here on you know, YouTube as well. You can also find Bay of Funny Fortunes on Google, on Blogspot, and on Twitter as well. And if you like this reading and you want something that's specific just for you, I do offer the service of private personalized readings. The information for that can found, be found down below this video window in the more, show more section. Just read there through there once and then grab my email. You see there, it should be off an email saying you'd like to have a reading and I'll get you taken care of. So for the rest of you, if you're ever looking for me, you can find me right here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes or walking on the beach down along the water's edge that hold the mightiest, highest tides on the whole planet, the beautiful and bountiful Bay of Fundy. And you'll always catch me waiting on the next high tide because I'm a high tide junkie. I hope to see you all back here next week when we begin the weeklies and we'll watch July unfold week by week to see how it goes. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much for being there. Being here, have a great month. That's it for now. Bye-bye.